Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Crack Peg. I'm your host, Andrew6657. Alright, guys, this week we're going to go ahead and do the top five banned action figures. Yes, these are action figures that have been banned or pulled from the shelves and um, call, recalled for certain reasons and um, the like. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. And no particular order uh, this uh, this week. So we'll go ahead and start with number five, which I do actually have. You've seen it before. The Chris Benoit action figure. This is one of the last Chris Benoit action figures ever made by World Wrestling Entertainment. And um, actually, um, if you remember when uh, this unfortunate incident happened, when uh, they found Chris Benoit uh, had uh, murdered uh, his family and committed suicide, these actually got pulled off the shelf pretty darn fast. And I saw there was a couple of other things where they had actually um, uh, marked out Chris Benoit's name with stickers on a certain on the uh, microaggression action figures. So um, yeah, as soon as everything everybody found out about him, this was pulled off the shelf pretty quickly. That's number five, Chris Benoit action figure. All right, number four on the list is going to be Dick Tracy's The Tramp action figure. Now, actually, uh, if you remember, um, Dick Tracy was on my show last week, and it's on there again this week, so there was quite a bit uh, to do with these Dick Tracy action figures. The Tramp was actually a homeless-looking character, and it was said that you could smell him before you could even see him. He was just that much of a tramp, that much of a homeless person. There was actually a reverend who called uh, for this figure to be pulled off the shelves, that it was a little too... Um, demeaning to the homeless community and so um, a lot of these figures did get pulled off the shelves for that reason so that was number four the tramp okay number three on the list would be Beetlejuice shish kebab Beetlejuice exactly now um, when the Beetlejuice movie came out the original with Michael Keaton and um, there's a whole line of action figures that actually the movie it was pretty gross pretty weird but it was actually aimed uh, really toward kids I remember at the time that uh, I think it was either McDonald's or Burger King actually had the uh, uh, Happy Meal toys uh, Beetlejuice too that they put in the in the things and a lot of pe parents a lot of parents were pretty upset about this whole Beetlejuice thing they didn't want their kids seeing Beetlejuice it was a ghost it was a dead thing there was even actually a Beetlejuice cartoon made um, that uh, was pretty close to the movie. Now, uh, that being said, Shish Kebab Beetlejuice was a Beetlejuice action figure that had holes in his chest and torso area. And you could actually stick these um, uh, sword uh, pieces through him. So, like he was Shish Kebab, basically. Anyways... Um, very, very, uh, I think that was probably the breaking po point for most parents that actually wanted this figure pulled off the shelves once they saw that. And uh, I remember as even as a kid, they were talking about this action figures are way too violent. And they cited that figure. So that was number three. Shish Kebab Beetlejuice. All right, number two banned action figures is actually not for any crazy reason except for uh, likeness rights. is uh, the Steve Jobs action figure. Um, produced um, in Japan by in icons uh, very very lifelike uh, figure that actually um, they had caught in more popularity as uh, once uh, Steve Jobs de uh, was deceased so um, even though Apple was threatening to sue them I think they went ahead and went uh, with that line of action figures very very lifelike uh, one to six uh, ratio action figures so it's pretty big like uh, action figure but very very lifelike and uh, very very creepy. All right, guys, number one on the list, Osama bin Laden. Now I bet you never thought that they made an Osama bin Laden action figure. Well, they actually did, and it's actually a uh, historical action figure line that he came out in. And they're very 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 rare. If you'd ever seen one. Uh, Mint in box, probably not. Maybe you would see one out of the box. There were a lot of money when they first came out, and um, they're probably demand for a lot more money now. But it was actually a, a whole line produced 
not a custom action figure, a line produced of Osama bin Laden. And he came with uh, weapons and all kinds of stuff in this box. And uh, if you can see the pictures there. And um, a lot of people <laughs> were really angry because it was believed, you know, uh, Osama bin Laden was behind the 9-11 attacks uh, on the United States. A lot of people in America did not want this action figure sold. So it was very, very hard to get uh, even here in America. So that was number one, Osama bin Laden. All right, guys, this week, um, Friday night, uh, me and my wife and uh, all of our friends from uh, Prince of Peace, we went to see Josh Blakesley and, uh, in concert. And here's some uh, clips of him doing his thing. <laughs> And afterwards, uh, we did go ahead and get to meet uh, Josh and hang out with uh, the rest of the people in the band. <laughs> they were really cool guys and um, really down to earth and um, they really make some great music. So you can check them out on iTunes, uh, Josh Blakesley, and uh, get his new album. And it's really good stuff. It's really cool. Uh, just relaxing, uh, chill out music. Saturday, we uh, took a trip up to Nine Tails to hang out with uh, Justin Surface and Nathi Roman. And um, their store was really, really, really jam packed with people. It was really hard to actually even get in. And um, once we were uh, in there hanging out, we uh, met DJ at lunch. It's DJ at lunch, spinning some records uh, for us while we're in there. It actually, had like a little fiesta party going on in there, a Hello Kitty fiesta party at Nine Tails, which was really cool. But um, we hung out there, we drank some uh, Ramune, and we actually uh, got a whole bunch of other people uh, to drink Ramune too. So it was a Ramune uh, uh, pop party, I guess. My wife actually got this for me. It an Ultimate Warrior Hasbro uh, Series 3 uh, mint on card. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that, right? Oh, we also had dinner at Happy Guy. And we saw our friends at Imagine, and they got a really cool, uh, creepy picture. Probably one of the worst paintings I've ever seen in my life. There's a lot of those that imagine books and records. So go ahead and check out all their creepy pictures there. This is by far the worst painting I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for the show. Don't forget to uh, like my page on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. And um, I do have a Chris Benoit Rumbler on eBay. So go ahead and uh, bid on that, and uh, hopefully you'll get that. And also I'm uh, working on a British Bulldog. And a, another Chris Jericho for this huge demand of Chris Jericho rumblers. So soon I'll have those up on eBay too. But don't forget, holla at your boy. Customize some toys.